all you're going to work is the, the rotational torque that you need to manifest. All right. There's two ways we generate power. One is putting the, our weight into the shock, dropping our weight into the shock. The other one is this hip torque. So you are looking to work that. Just a quick tug and the hip going forward at the same time. You're not going to throw the shot at this moment in time. Just want to work that. So I'm like, or if anything, I'm just convulsively pulling him into me. <coughs> Getting a little bit more smooth movement. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's moving to me. Imagine that. So I don't really need to make this as strong as I can if I can accelerate this. Got it? Put a hoodie on, stop yanking your partner. You yank him off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yank him off. So you can get your partner to lean away from you. So from here, lean, lean a bit. So now I feel that resistance. You know what I mean? So now I have to him back. Got it? So the safest configuration is this. One, because the arm is now in line with the shoulder, so it will stop the torque on the one there. And two, if I manage to skew this, because remember, you are pulling violently on this guy now. So where his head was when you went to the initial start and initiate the shot isn't really there now, it's moved a bit, hasn't it? So I need him to be protected as it does. So when he holds it, he holds it like this. All right? Time. Make sure you've got a good tight bunch on the clothing. Like that. So imagine before there was no pull. So here I was reliant purely on maybe just dropping the weight forward. You know, see what I mean? <clears throat> now I'm going to put the hip torque. Give me that. Okay? How does that feel? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Then I can add the hip torque and the drop step and the pull all at the same time. <laughs> so, that's what you, that kind of power you're going to look for. And it's stuff that you have to work on. You know, people can show you the technique and show you it, but you have to put flight time into this. So I'll give you the raw ingredients, you go home and work it. But let's get start working this now. So you've got it, work the pull and hit. Just to pull the hip, get that, and you'll know, you'll go, ah, yeah, it's feeling good. I go. <laughs> Fucking good shots. Alright, feel better? That's fucking cracking shit, man. Yeah, good cracking. <laughs> a taller subject, do not grab him as if you're holding a medium-sized subject. And the reason being is because you've got to work the furthest away from centre of gravity to have the better effect. So the taller he is, go up to the highest, higher point that he can. So here, if I was holding him here, I would have a different effect because I'm, I'm, I'm moving the whole centre mass. If I hold him here, it's different. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so,